traditional method to count elephants in uh, savanna environments is using manned aircraft. So that's still the, the dominant method. This presents a new method that could be used in open landscapes to, to also count elephants. So um, Olga and I worked on this study as a, as a proof of concept. Um, and as you can see in the images here, it works both in, in heterogeneous environments and also in um, more homogeneous landscapes where it's quite easy to spot them. We compared with uh, human performance because it was the only reference we could think of because nobody has done deep learning on satellite imagery to detect elephants before. So we are on par with uh, human observers. It's uh, the uh, varied background. So uh, as you can imagine, the whales are in the ocean uh, and the ocean is all blue. Uh, where uh, Also penguin is on the ice uh, normally, so it's also uh, quite... Uh, Unif uh, uniform background, whereas uh, we are detecting uh, species uh, in complex uh, forested areas, uh, so it's quite uh, difficult to detect them there. We were able to um, just ask for images that had less than 10% of cloud cover, but um, thankfully in a lot of the environments where we want to count elephants, there's not an awful lot of cloud cover. Um, but yeah, cloud cover is a problem and also competition on the satellites is uh, another problem and cost of imagery. Um, but there are a lot of advantages that you don't have to deal with um, when you use manned aircraft. You can go over trans-frontier areas um, and you can also do repeat surveys quite easily because the revisit time of satellites can be just a few days. Um, and also you can cover much larger areas than you can do with uh, traditional manned aircraft. So it may be possible that you can detect um, carcasses as well. Um, and that would at least provide some information about areas of national parks where you have um, higher numbers of uh, poaching or higher poaching incidents. Um, the idea is that this can be used really to, to generate more accurate population counts, but nothing can replace having, you know, well-trained wildlife rangers on the ground. Um, this is a surveying tool um, and it's part of the puzzle to help conserve this majestic species, but we still need well-funded rangers on the ground.